Here's how you can send messages in, in an ordinary office setting without fully realizing it. Here's an ordinary desk. It's actually quite a nice desk. From my point of view, it's lovely. I've got the computer, I've got the keyboard, my books, blotter, telephone, pens and stuff like that. I feel all rather nicely protected and it feels very comfortable from my point of view. But it's entirely different when I'm trying to talk to a patient. From the point of view of the patient, what is nice and protective from my point of view is actually a wall to her. It's a barrier to ac active, interactive communication between the two of us. And here is how you can change the atmosphere so that it's much more easy and welcoming, very simply. Look how easy it is to make a big difference. All the clutter is down that end of the desk. All that's here is basically the patient's chart all related to her and a jotter pad so I can make notes and give her something to, to remember uh, the essential points of the interview and of course very important for any emotional uh, um, interviews uh, a box of Kleenex handy. Now I've put the chair at the corner of the desk so we're talking across a corner instead of across the width of the desk we're not separated by uh, uh, objects and so on and look at the difference to what happens now. Communication is so much easier. I'm right close to her. There's nothing between us. We can actually talk easily. Communication is already facilitated by something that's not actually all that difficult. Now here is how things can be made a lot better with very little effort. All the clutter is down the far end of the desk, the computer and all the books and everything. This end of the desk is totally uncluttered. I've just got my blotter, I've got the patient's chart, and before the patient comes into the room, I'll have looked at it and remembered the important factors so that I'm not actually with my face buried in the notes when she comes in. That will be greatly appreciated by the patient. I've got a jotter pad so I can just write down a couple of the things that I want the patient to remember and I can give her the piece of paper as an aid memoir at the end. And important for any emotional interview, of course, important to have Kleenex right at hand, which of course gives the patient permission to cry if they actually feel like that. Now, the chair, instead of being across the desk from me, is across the corner. So we're going to be talking at a distance of about two feet, and it's going to feel without a barrier, without a wall. Communication is going to be much easier. Look at what this looks like when the patient comes in now. You see, with remarkably little effort, the entire atmosphere of our interaction can be changed from something that feels rather antagonistic, and from her point of view, uh, it looks as if I'm being defensive, to something that's sending a message saying, let's communicate.